welcome to this tutorial. In this case, we're going to talk about the AR Gallery Inventory Room, which is a package for augmented reality in which you will be able to introduce different pieces of furniture inside your real environments. Let's start by saying the, the steps you have to follow in order to make it work. First of all, you will need the AR Core SDK for Unity. To do so, you can go ahead to this uh, link that will be available in the documentation and you have to import it into your project. Your project will look like this. You will have the Google AR Core and the Play Services Resolver. Then you will have to import our package that is going to be the AR Gallery Inventory Room. And finally, in order to make it work, you have to go to the Unity Asset Store and you got the big furniture pack. The big you need to import the furniture pack, but only the following. You have to disable this button here and import only, only, only this folder that is going to be the big furniture pack. Not replace the prefabs or your game won't work properly. So you import the different models and now we are set to test our scene. Notice that to test your scene in the Android device, you have to select Android and then go to player settings and enable here the XR settings AR core supported. So you have to change that in order to test it into your project. Nevertheless, you can also test on the editor mode because we have added a scene that is called inventory scene that behaves as what you will find when facing uh, the application while recording in real space. But in this case, we have instantiated a plane in order to uh, test how the package works. So let's explain how things work. Once you have selected a plane in the AR core device, you will be able to move uh, inside this menu and select different objects. In this case, you have some lights, some chairs, and some other pieces of furniture as tables or shelves. And you have here some racks, here some beds, and here some decoration and pieces of furniture for bathroom. The idea is to select one of those game objects and click on the plane. That will create an instance of this game object. You can do the same with another different object and you will see that if you click on top you won't be able to create another object on top because you are selecting it. So if you select the bed, for example, and then click the movement, you will be able to move that object in space. In this case, if you want to rotate it, you have to select the rotation button, and in, in that situation, you will be able to rotate the object. Same with the scale, and same with the flip button. So remember, you have to first select an object, you have to put it into your scene, and then you have to click on it again in order to interact with it. If you want to delete it, or if you want to change the scale, rotation, position, or uh, other parameters. You can also close the menu in order to have a bigger view of your scene. So once we have explained how the package works, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the scripts. The AR Gallery, it's a modification of the script that you can see here uh, from Google AR Core, but uh, it's going to adapt to our needs. The camera take icon is a script that is going to help us develop different icons really fast without having to uh, use another uh, software for uh, getting the images from the 3D models. The icon, if you hit another time play here, the icon is just one of these uh, buttons here that are used in order to select the different uh, objects into your scene. 
the inventory is the most important script and it's the one that we're going to talk about in a few seconds. And the object interaction is the script that allows uh, the user to move, rotate, and scale the different objects while pressing on them. So once we have done um, uh, this and explained this, uh, we're going to talk about the inventory. The inventory uh, script has different, as you can see here, game objects and sprites. So if you go to the um, inventory game object, that is the prefab that you are using in the AR environment and in the uh, test environment, you can select, as you can see here, different game objects and different icons. So the idea is if you want to add another element to the gallery, you have to go ahead and let's do it in, in, the, in the chair and table second because we have more objects there. So you can add another point, another game object, another value to your uh, array, and then go and say, uh, we want to put a table um, For example, this TB table here. We put it there, as you can see, and we do the same with uh, the prefab. The prefab, we, call, we go to the table. Well, let's check the coffee table that is different, sorry. So, the coffee table, yeah, it's better. Coffee table one. So you have to select from the texture, the coffee table texture, and from the prefab table, the coffee table. So you can see that it has the same name, and really, it's really easy to, to get. So now, if you go to the menu of, of the tables, you will see that the last table has been added to the list. That is this one here. So this is the last object that has been added to the to the list to the uh, to the gallery. So this is how you can easily add things into your gallery. And uh, regarding the other variables, it's really easy to understand too uh, the meaning of them because um, you have the scroll view that is the point. Um, or the content in which you are going to display the different icons then the icon image that is going to be the prefab that we're using so you, if you open it into your, your scene you will see how it's composed by two different images a, pre, a main image here and a second image that is going to be the border and um, then we have the inventory text that is going to be changed by the name of different inventory uh, sections and finally you have here a variable that is called uh, selected furniture and um, selected uh, or inventory object and selected index and these are our variables used to um, manage the different selections from the user so in the script um, we can go ahead and check the fixed update part of the script and you will see that first we have the type test so you can see that if we select different types of furniture we are getting the lights, the chair table, the shelves, the bed, the decoration or the toilet so in function of that we get one part of another and uh, finally we use a right cast hit in order to detect where the player is hitting on the ground and with that we can generate also the icon menu which is generated here as you can see here is, is everything is quite well commented so it's really easy to understand and uh, this is more or less how the, the script works let's finish this tutorial saying a couple of words regarding the icon generator. The icon generator is a script 
that is here that is called the camera take icon that allows you to um, set the camera parameters first you can see here and then create by clicking take picture an amount of icons that are going to be saved here in furniture with the name of the different game objects so um, remember that uh, in order to export your AR scene you have to go to scenes select the AR scene here and uh, in build settings you have to add the correct scene otherwise it won't work the AR scene cannot be tested on PC remember that you have to test it on Android directly and the result is the one that you have seen in the video at the beginning nevertheless we are going to add um, a test application a test APK so you can uh, do the debug first before buying the package I hope you like this video. I hope you consider downloading this package. We believe that it's a really uh, important one for those that like architecture.